Video electro-nystagmography is a method used to monitor eye movements with special infrared or night vision cameras, allowing the audiologist to use the eyes as the window to the inner ear. Certain eye movements are very closely related to movements of the head. This relationship is called the visual ocular reflex or VOR. Eye movements commonly referred to as nystagmus are a pattern of very quick eye movements usually performed automatically to keep a visual object of interest sharply in focus on a small portion of the retina called the fovea. For example, when the inner ear perceives movement of the head, the link between the inner ear and the brain immediately tells the eyes to move in the same direction to keep vision from becoming blurred. The audiologist will first ask the patient to follow various lights projected on a screen or on the wall of the rotational chair room. This part of the test is examining how well your eyes, vestibular system, and your brain are working together to enable a patient to track moving objects. The purpose of this relationship or link is to keep your vision stable or focus on a target when your head is moving. If not for this link, simple activities like walking or checking traffic would be very difficult because your vision would blur or bounce with each head movement. The next procedure the audiologist performs is position testing. Positional testing, or help hike testing, involves moving the patient through a variety of head and body positions on an examination table while monitoring eye movements with the infrared goggles. This process can help identify positional vertigo, or BPPV, and other types of position-provoked dizziness, such as cervical vertigo or central positioning vertigo. For a more detailed discussion of BPPV and treatment options, please go to the physical therapy section on this DVD. The last segment of VNG testing the audiologist performs is caloric testing. Caloric testing involves administering irrigations of temperature controlled air or water into the ear canal for 30 to 60 seconds. Generally four irrigations are done, one each of cool and warm in each ear. Results allow us to assess the strength of a certain portion of the balance mechanism separately in each ear. This is the only balance test that allows us to look in each ear individually. Following this test, the patient may experience some dizziness or floating sensations for a short period of time.